Hey guys, this is Zach or Chicken Blaster here, and I'm here again with another video. Now this is this is a new video, and uh, I haven't recorded it in like a year or so, and so it's been a long time. And you might have noticed that I changed my name from Tank Crusher 17 to Chicken Blaster, just because I liked it more. And um, yeah, but anyways, this is going to be a tutorial on how to uh, play PC games with an Xbox One controller. And um, I already did a video on how to. Uh, play PC games with an Xbox 360 controller and I'll link that in the description if you want to see that too. Um, so you'll need a few things for this. Uh, you'll need of course your Xbox One controller and uh, you'll need a mini USB cable. So I have a few pages pulled up. Um, if you want to get an uh, Xbox One controller you probably just buy it off eBay or Amazon. As you can see here's the Amazon link. I'll link these in the description if you want it. Um, so let's close out of that. And then um, you can get a mini USB cord for really cheap, like $5 or so. I want to take a sip of my hot chocolate. Gotta love that hot chocolate. So um, I'll link this in the description. It's uh, on Major Nelson's blog, and it's this is where you'll find the drivers for the Xbox One controller. Um, and if you don't know, it says, some people might be confused, it, has, it says x86 and x64. x86 is just for what, if you're on a laptop, and x64 is if you're on a desktop like me. So uh, let me download this. And I already have it installed, so it's and it's really easy just to install. It's pretty much like any other install. You just go through it, uh, click next. I guess I'll just repair it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that's finished. Uh, let me exit out of this. Now, um, let me plug it in. You can plug it in before if you want, but um, it's really easy. All you have to do is plug it in, and it's pretty much already set up. Okay. It's plugged in. Now I have Device Manager pulled up over here. Let me drag it over here, and uh, there will be a new th a new thing called Microsoft Xbox One controller. And um, this is it should say this device is working properly, and uh, it should be all set to go. So that's how you know if it's installed. Just go to Device Manager. Now there's a few things. Um, if you want to, if you're gonna want to play a Steam game or any other game, you're going to want to check if it has controller support uh, first. You can just like Google it or you can go to the Steam page and you scroll down and there'll be something right here and it might say full controller support or partial controller support or it won't even have it at all. And that's how you know that how um, if, you, if your game has controller support. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be hopping into Just Cause 2 and uh, I'll see you guys over there. Alright guys, we're in the game now, and um, if you have your controller plugged in, then that's pretty much going to be it. Now, it might be a difference for some games, but um, you're just going to want to go to your settings, and uh, you might see an option that says Gamepad, and if that's checked off, then you're going to check that, and you'll be set. And you can edit the settings on here, where it says Gamepad and stuff like that. So, uh, let me join a server. Okay. Next out of this, I think it just has to load in first. Um, let's see. It will load. It will load. There we go. All right, and if you can see that on the right side, it says "Open Parachute" and has the A button next to it. So uh, that's how we know if it works. So yeah, it's got on the ground. So uh, yeah guys, if you like this video, then um, subscribe for more videos like this, because I'll be coming out with some more videos like this soon. I think I'm going to do I'm gonna do a PS4 one, and if that's already out, then I'll link that in the description. And um, yeah, rate, rate this video, and uh, leave some suggestions in the comments, because um, 
I would love to get some more ideas on tutorials. So if you guys need any help, just leave, it, just leave your suggestion in the comments. And um, yeah, see you guys later.